Howdy everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be replacing the processor in my laptop. So a little bit of background information. Um, I'm using a Toshiba satellite. It is model number C50-A. And when I got this thing, I was probably in ninth grade. Uh, my stepdad got it for me financed through the local furniture store, uh, fondly enough, and uh, when I got this thing, it came with Windows 8 and a McAfee install disk. Uh, so learning about those two pieces of software was very fun. Uh, I'm not particularly fond of either of them. So anyways, uh, I decided I wanted to upgrade my processor after my third semester in college. Uh, I had a databasing class and a Java class and particularly opening anything in the, the database application that we used uh, took a very long time and also uh, opening my Java coding it took a long time as well. So I decided I needed an upgrade and I at first just wanted to buy a whole new laptop but I'm a broke college kid I'm already in debt from that, so didn't want to spend any more money. I uh, decided to look into upgrading options. Saw a pretty cool video by Pimptato PC, and he upgraded a processor in his, I believe, mother-in-law's laptop. So it got me wondering. Um, I had looked into upgrading processor or upgrading my processor on my laptop for a little bit, but then I shortly gave up. So. I researched and found that my processor was not soldered into it, soldered into place that is, it was socketed. So I looked for processors that would fit in the socket and landed on an i5 uh, 2000 model. I can't quite remember which model, but uh, so I bought one of those and I installed it in this video and uh, the system would turn on for 30, 30 minutes and then it would immediately shut down uh, with no warning or anything so I figured okay maybe I got a dud processor um, it's odd that it came on though uh, and then I went and bought an i3 2000 model I also cannot remember the specific model and the same thing was happening I got really bummed out and disappointed so I did some more digging on my chipset it turns out the model of laptop I have uses the HM70 chipset, which basically restricts all processor models lower than, or excuse me, all processor models higher than a Pentium. The system will just turn off after 30 minutes, um, which, yeah, whatever, it's Intel. They can do whatever they want with their products and everything, but I think it's pretty anti-consumer. So, uh, if you are trying to upgrade your laptop's processor, just remember to double check and do some digging on your chipset. Otherwise, your chips may not be compatible and they may just shut down your system after 30 minutes. So, it was a fun experience. Uh, there were like 23 screws on the outside of my laptop holding everything together, so that was fun. But uh, as you guys can see, I got my system to boot, even with the i5. Um, the new processor I have, the Pentium 2030M, uh, the, the whole process is the same, so I didn't bother recording it. But um, thank you guys so much. The new processor is working great. I also installed 8 gigs of RAM and an SSD. So thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.